Welcome Confluence fans, I'm Matt. I am Max. And we are looking at Confluence users just like you who are trying to do their daily tasks in Confluence and Confluence with Orderly Databases. Now, Orderly Databases is a new app on the scene, kind of the underdog, and what would you say makes teams using Orderly Databases so successful? They can easily structure and organize their content in Confluence. They are able to update it and create it very quickly and can reuse it throughout the whole Confluence instance. Sounds impressive. Let's jump into Confluence to see the action. So here we are on a Confluence page and it looks like someone wants to update the page status. Pretty common thing, a lot of us do. But of course you have to jump into the editor and you've done that plenty of times. I did, I did. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a common thing that most of us have to do. Jump in, change the page status, then you gotta wait for the page to update. Pretty typical Confluence procedure. So Matt, what are we looking at here? So it looks like the orderly databases user has an entire database full of their pages. And in the time it took the Confluence user to update a single page status, they're updating multiple at once. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, that's amazing, Matt. It's unbelievable. Uh, Confluence user, I guess the ball is in your court. So we're here with the Confluence user who has a new teammate. So they've got to add their information to a table. And to do that, you got to edit the page, wait for it to load, add stuff into the table, publish it. I mean, you've done that before, right? Countless times. I lost track. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard procedure. Sometimes you just have to update one page at a time. All right, so we're looking at the orderly databases user and they're looking at a similar table, but oh my God, they are updating the table without even going into editing mode on the page. And what are they doing right now? I think that's a card view, Matt. That is a card view. They are visualizing this, not as a table, but as a, a bunch of cards with their employees' faces. I have never seen anything like this in my entire Confluence career. It just doesn't get any better than this. Let's move back to the Confluence user to see what they're up to. Yeah, sounds good. So the Confluence user is looking at a table full of partner and contact information here. And tables are a great way to organize content, right? That's right, Matt, as long as you keep it up to date. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's gonna be a hard one for the team. So you can see that they've moved the link to the contact page and then they have to go into the contact page and update it. Um, it it's an okay strategy, let's just hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Now, I feel like this same task is going to be more difficult for the team using orderly databases because they have to have a database for all the partners and a database for the contacts. That sounds complicated to me, but it looks like the user is very quickly removing the contact from one partner and adding it to another. And what is happening right now? Matt, you can see the databases are linked. So you can now open the contact information right there and edit the email address and it's finished. That is unbelievable. In less time the other team took, that is no hocus pocus, it's just focus from the team using orderly databases. So orderly databases has definitely impressed so far, but let's see how it handles a more advanced use case. Matt, I'm as curious as you are. Absolutely, let's jump to our Confluence user, ooh, who is using page properties to manage their projects. So every project page has a page properties table on it, and they wanna add a new field for stakeholders Ouch, they're gonna have to go to every page and update it. You know, Matt, page properties talk a good game, but that's a disaster. Absolutely. Now we're gonna go to the orderly user who is looking at a table view of the database of all the projects, but aren't they gonna have to go into all the pages again? No, Matt, you can see that they can add the field right in that view. And look at this, they're not just adding a new field, but they are also populating all the stakeholders in record time. So while the Confluence user's game goes into overtime, the orderly user's game is done for the day. That's a stunning performance by the orderly user. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Max. Thank you, Matt, for having me. It's been a pleasure to show you and jump onto the Atlassian Marketplace where you can see how orderly databases can help your team organize your content, create it quickly, and reuse it everywhere to keep everyone on the same page.